What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, I'm going to teach you to use the built-in icons with TTK Bootstrap, Kinter, and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the icons that come with TTK Bootstrap. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing's awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book in your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com and get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the icons that come built in with TTK Bootstrap. And there are four or five of these things, and you can use them very easily without having to have actual image files, you know, import them and all that stuff. They're built right into TTK Bootstrap, and I'm going to show you how to use them. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Batch Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this TTK Bootstrap series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file. I'm just calling it icony.py. I don't know. And we're using the superhero theme that we always have. I've imported TTK Bootstrap as TB. The rest is just normal. So to use these icons, we have to import them. So let's go from TTK Bootstrap dot icons. We want to import icon. Now notice this is plural and this is singular. That could trip you up. And there we go. So there are several different icons we can use. And we'll start out with warning. And to use these, we just create a variable. I'm going to call it IMG, short for image, I guess. And then we want to use a photo image here. Notice the P and the I in photo image are both capitalized. And then we just set the data attribute. And here we call icon dot whatever icon we want. So remember up here, we're importing icon. That's what we're using right here. And then if we want the warning icon, we just import warning, right? We just type in warning. So there we go. So now in order to use this, we need a, I don't know, label or something to attach this thing to. So I'm just going to create a label. I'm going to call it my label. And this is going to be a TB dot label. It really doesn't matter. You can use a regular Kinter label if you want, because we're not actually going to do anything with the label except for set the image to that IMG variable that we assigned right there. So then we could just minor score label dot pack this guy, give it a pad Y like 40, push down screen a little bit, 50, 40, <laughs> whatever. Go ahead and save this, head back over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's just run Python icony.py. And when we do, there we get this icon right there and a very big app. I don't know why it's that big, <laughs> right? And it's just that easy. So that's the warning icon. It's this little triangle with a little exclamation point. Warning, hey, all right, whatever. Uh, so there are several more. Like I said, first, let's change this to 350, right? Make it a little bit smaller. Uh, so we have warning. We also have, let's see, just icon. You could use icon.icon. .icon. So let's take a look at that one real quick save this, run it. And this is the TTK bootstrap icon. If you don't designate an icon up here in the top left-hand corner here, we've got the little, we've got my little logo thing up there as our icon, this will appear. So if you want to use that icon in something else, you could do that. I don't know why you would want to, but you know, there you go. So we have warning, we have icon, we can also do error. So let's take a look at that real quick. Error, save this, run it. And now we get this like angry red X error. So, oh, all right, that's fun stuff. So warning icon error. And then we also have question. So you'll never guess what this one is. <laughs> yeah, save it and run it. And you guessed it. It's a question mark in a nice little round circle. There we go. So warning icon error question. We also have info. So let's type in info here. Come back over here. Run this guy one more time. And we get this nice little I dot, right? Info, I, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> whatever. So those are the icons that come with TTK Bootstrap. So we have warning icon, error, question, and info. That's pretty much it. But, you know, as far as icons go, what else do you need? Of course, you can always use an image that you've created. And just instead of doing data icon, just use the image as you would any other image in tkinter. Uh, you could always do that. But if you just need a basic icon for warning, error question or info. This is a super quick and easy way to do it. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome. Over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book. Enter your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. 
Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.